Welcome back to my channel, welcome to another video. Today we are back on the Alfa Romeo Mito and we are doing the last part of the service. So if you've watched my other videos, you would have known we've already done the oil and filter, and we've done an air filter and we've done a pollen filter. So I will put random links to those throughout this video above. We are doing the fuel filter. So this is a 1.3 diesel. This is the part number. There are several different filters available. So make sure you get the right one throughout the years because this is the same as, as I said earlier, the uh, in my other videos, the Fiat Punto and Fiat Double Van, some of the um, Boxall 1.3 diesels as well. So this one here, let's open it up. And there's the part number. Just open this up. Oh, a tape on there. Now, on the bottom here, this will be for a uh, like a water in fuel warning. And this one has an inlet and outlet, and obviously a, I think a, a bleed. Um, let's say just make sure this is the right one. Some of them have three, this one has two. So let's go and take the old one off. Right, as I say, you've got two pipes. So this one comes from the fuel tank, and this one is going to the uh, injectors. Now, there's two little push clips. So you literally just push these in. On both of these and then you should be able to lift up the pipe and you might get a bit of fuel here so I'm just so let me push him in lift the pipe up oh there you go okay remember that and just repeat for the other one with another bag this one's a bit tricky to get your finger in the back but let's put the bag out a minute He's on the back. That one on the front. There you go, that's gone. There you go. There a minute. That pipe. Okay. So next, we have a little bolt at the back here. Uh, we have a ten mil bolt by the look of it. That's the only thing holding it on. So we undo that next. So ten mil socket. And then there's a bracket, and the bracket just comes off. And then you can lift. Oh, mine has got a connector on it. Uh -huh. So mine does have a connector, I literally just pull that up. And uh, should be able to. Oh, I'm just caught my glove. Ah, there. Now you'll see this part number on here is slightly different, but I think that's an old part number. And it's superseded by this one here. 
you just got to be careful because obviously it's just full of fuel. So uh, let me get a container where I can put it in. Okay, so it's got my oil container here. So obviously we need to undo this filter. We should just twist. There you go. It's not very tight at all. So just undo that. You should probably. There you go. There you go. All the diesel comes out. So that's why you need a bucket. Um, just leave that in there. Just get the new filter under the protective cover. Okay, and it's got a little rubber, little rubber washer in there, so. So you just push this in, screw it up. Doesn't need to be tight. Okay, just nip it up like that. There you go. Now we're ready to put it back in the car. So I'll. Uh, First off, we just plug that water sensor back in. Okay, make sure that's nice and home. And then make sure the filter, filter is around the right way. Is it like that? I think it was like that, wasn't it? Or is it like that? I can't remember now. No, it was like that, wasn't it? Oh, let's put the bracket on. There's slots in that hole. And then put the bolt in. Easier said than done. There you go. Do the bolt up. Okay. It must be super tight, not going to go anywhere. Okay. Then just put the pipes back on. They only go in one way because they are different sizes. So, make sure they click. Just make sure they're not coming off. All right, now I'm going to prime, prime the fuel pump by turning the ignition off and on four times. Um, it might take a bit of time to start because obviously this has got to fill with diesel again. So we do that. So I've got the ignition on, so the fuel pump's working now. So it should be filling with fuel. Just make sure there's no leaks underneath. Yeah, that's all dry, no leaks on the top. Turn that off four or five times now, and the yeah, now you can hear the fuel pump was working as correctly. 
There you go, it started. We just check the leaks. All good. Well, that was a nice, uh, simple, quick video to show you how to change the fuel filter on a 1.3 JTT diesel. Um, so I hope you like the video. Uh, please think about subscribing, comment, like, and I'll see you on the next one. Bye for now.